the system that we have installed here in Budapest, I believe the first of its kind in the whole world. Uh, the roughly 300 gigawatts um, photovoltaic electricity generation worldwide, it's almost all, uh, at least 95%, has no storage. So while the sun shines, we have to make hay. Um, in order that distributed uh, use of uh, solar energy can also be used, we have to add storage. And in the system, that you will be seeing later on the details. Uh, uh, we are adding uh, battery storage, hydrogen storage, and we not only utilize it uh, uh, to generate electricity, but we can also generate hydrogen. And not only that, but we can even uh, provide the fuel for your electric vehicle as you will be purchasing those over the next decades. Uh, on the diagram that I am showing you here, we can see uh, the summary of the system. Um, the solar panels are shown here. Uh, the solar panel, in my case, uh, in our case, generates uh, um, maximum uh, 7 kilowatt of uh, photovoltaic electricity, DC electricity. This DC electricity through a DC-DC converter um, and through a router can either be directly delivered to a DC-AC inverter, which in turn will deliver the electricity to the load, or you can take it on to, into the, to charge the batteries, the nickel iron batteries, or the second router, you can take the power to a, a, hyd a hydrogen um, water elec high pressure electrolyzer and uh, uh, this also generates hydrogen. In the case of nickel iron batteries <coughs> they themselves generate some hydrogen so hydrogen from both of these sources uh, is channeled into a hydrogen buffer before it is taken into a, a hydrogen storage scheme. And now the um, nickel iron Batteries are one of the oldest technology. They've been developed by Edison a hundred years ago, but they are so durable that in New York City, Jay Leno, one of the famous comedians, hundred years later, he still drives nickel iron um, electric uh, vehicles with nickel iron batteries, uh, the original batteries. So they really are durable. And uh, this whole system of how we collect the hydrogen, how we handle the hydrogen, how we store the hydrogen, this is uh, patent pending proprietary. Uh, on the solar panels, for the moment, we are using uh, crystalline silicon. Um, and today, China owns the crystalline silicon world. They, they uh, produce over 50 gigawatts of, of uh, crystalline silicon uh, uh, modules but we have a factory in Germany in September that we are coming out with a new next generation of multi-junction thin film and our plan is to use our own multi-junction thin film in the future. The schematic of the system you have seen inside. Behind me uh, is the box that actually contains uh, everything uh, have to do with storage. The box uh, itself is uh, one square meter and uh, two meter long and uh, it's divided into two parts. In the battery part uh, of the rebox, in the upper uh, left corner where the DC electricity comes in from the solar panels. The DC electricity in the DC-DC converter uh, is taken down to either to charge the batteries or directly uh, to the other side where the inverter is uh, to deliver it to the load. On the center part of the uh, box is the logic element uh, which controls the operation of the complete system which enables uh, the remote monitoring, 
and the remote uh, command giving as shown later. The nickel iron, uh, nickel iron batteries are uh, the 20 batteries that shown on the two shelves. These 20 batteries are interconnected to provide the 24 volt system. Uh, the um, um, plastic tubing uh, um, which leads the, um, the distilled water which is up in the right corner when needed to fill up the batteries. The same tubing um, in the, during charging when hydrogen is generated is collected and taken over to the other side of the box, the hydrogen part where it is collected. Uh, from the battery box the hydrogen part is separated by uh, a double wall. Uh, on the hydrogen part um, the electricity that comes uh, from the DC-DC converter uh, either goes to the DC-AC inverter in the upper right corner and the electricity uh, from the batteries is also brought uh, to the high pressure electrolyzer which is also in the upper part um, of the box. The high pressure electrolyzer uh, is uh, capable uh, to um, generate um, hydrogen pressure up to 30 atmospheres. In the lower part of the box is the hydrogen storage. The first tallest cylinder is the buffer which collects uh, the hydrogen uh, both from the nickel iron batteries on the other side and also um, it electrolyzes the distilled water. Uh, from uh, um, this buffer um, the hydrogen uh, is either stored in a metal hydride three sets of cylinders uh, this is the, the three cylinders together or uh, it goes into the um, uh, double uh, container um, for, for compressed hydrogen. Then the hydrogen uh, is in this case is used, uh, utilized to provide thermal energy. By burning the hydrogen we can heat uh, uh, the home water, in this case the, the pool in the house, uh, um, or uh, we can uh, uh, fill up the metal hydride container and uh, take this container with us and uh, use it in a remote location either um, for, um, for thermal energy or to be used in a fuel cell. This particular box does not have a fuel cell, but if you want to reconvert the hydrogen back into electricity, this will accommodate also a two and a half kilowatt fuel cell so that uh, additional electricity generation from stored hydrogen can take place. The amount of hydrogen that can be stored uh, in the two containers below are about three kilograms, which is equivalent to 100 kilowatt hours. And if that is filled up, we can take that out uh, and put in a, a second set of, um, of containers uh, and uh, the hydrogen, if needed, uh, can be left from one season to the other, from the summer season when there is plenty of uh, sunshine to generate enough electricity, to winter when there is not so much sunshine. Okay. A very important element of the Reebok system is that we can monitor its performance even remotely and control it. Here on my iPhone it shows that we are presently producing about 200 watts, it's a cloudy day. It shows that the state of the battery is 100%, it's at uh, uh, above 24 volts, and it shows that the system per presently uses approximately 25 watts, and that is only for the ventilators that, that uh, uh, clean the, the re-box.